I am in store, and I'm talking to Toddy Goldsmith about cosmetics, and she's just getting a touch-up now. As you can see, she's wearing her own lipstick called Spirit. We'll ask more questions about it just after she touches up. I did. Which is a, it's a spring summer colour and it's sort of like um, a brown chiffon and it's very subtle and it's very feminine. And so I'm um, hence it's sort of like what it goes well with the angelic range. Is it hard to choose a colour? It is because I love so many different things. I've never been a, you know, like I don't have one type of music I like, I like everything. Yeah. But I knew that I wanted something sort of very natural, just something a little bit deeper than my own natural lip colour and something that I didn't look too made up. And then when you were, like I put it on now, but with a gloss, a really shiny gloss over the top, which actually dresses it up a lot more. So what sort of mood would you have to be in to wear this? Is it an evening? Is it a oh, morning? Well, I think it's... Um, everyday use? I or? think it's an everyday use, but I think when you've got the gloss on it, it's for night as well. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's very cashmere, it's very beautiful. So how does it make you feel in general? Um, clean. It's very clean, kind of. But I like all of the new and um, the range. I really like Soul as well, which is a much sort of richer, um, deeper colour. I think they're all beautiful. I don't think mine's any better than the others. I think it's such a good range. Do you ever mix at all? Do you yeah. think that you can mix with the I've actually um, got, I've got Soul on at the moment, but a tiny, I mean Spirit, but a tiny bit of Soul underneath it. Just um, to bring it out more. And it's on top, so you're really quite layered there. Oh, I'm very layered. I'm a very layered girl. So that means whenever you touch a glass, you're going to have this uh, imprint oh, everywhere. Oh, huge mess. And kissing guys, that's going to be trouble. There's only one guy and he loves it because yep. it smells so good. Did you cut it out? Did I put it? Four girlfriends. You've lost them all. You can't talk when we're doing lips. Oh, okay. Actually, this gloss I've got on at the moment has got um, a couple of oils, but one of them is a spearmint oil. And as you're putting it on, it just walks up into your nose and I just want to eat it off my mouth. <laughs> that could be a downfall for uh, lipstick, couldn't it? You're no, chewing the bottom it's lip. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> now, has this got essential oil? Can it be This has. This has got. Well, most of the oil, the um, lipsticks have got rose oil, and then rose is um, a very essential oil. It's actually put a bit of it. Rose is my, a good friend of mine. <laughs> rose is good. The properties of rose it provides emotional comfort in times of turbulence, enlivens the heart, increases affection and sexual desire among other things. So you so feel quite sexy at the moment. Well, I do, because I'm all dolled up. You are Girls do feel sexy. I'm in a beautiful dress and beautiful makeup. So how important are essential oils in makeup to you? Incredibly important. I wouldn't use a product unless they were all natural. Just wouldn't go near them. I've done it before, I, before I knew any better. And also because my daughter, Layla, who's five, gets into my makeup big time. I let her go for it because if it goes all over her face, it doesn't matter, it's not going to hurt her skin. Yeah. And I just, I don't put anything in my mouth that's impure, so I put it on my face and body. I, and I also use the um, bath crystals and the um, body moisturizer. And you just know, because everything you put on your body actually gets absorbed into the system, no matter which way you look yeah. at it. So I feel very safe using these products. The sweets start to eat from no hole this show to my not the sweet. Now I be the cat that be hard to meet. Get your hand from brother, you know how to speak. Have the hand, the face, the great and gorgeous sleeveless top, think about the arm, and have a look at some of the fun and exciting things that are happening in store today. Red part of your comfort zone and look like an angel with sheer. Yeah, I noticed you're covered in glitter. I've got my body art and I've got my fake diamond ring that I'm hanging out to get one day. <laughs> I love this. How do you find the response to today though? How's it going? Um, well, people are sort of standing around looking at me a lot. <laughs> well, you are Tony Goldsmith, I must say. Well, they're just wondering who's this chick in the pink sitting up here looking like who's this? But it's been really good. A lot of people are asking photographs and a lot of people are really interested in the product. And also, I think Madonna has really made this body art sort of very profile and, and a lot of young people are coming around and really getting into getting it done on their cheeks. As much as looking as a princess as you do, uh, do you go out much at all? You're a bit of a scene queen well, out there, must wear the glitter and the I the seem to be more than I actually am. I'm a mother, I'm 36 years 
myself, I've got a five-year-old daughter, and I don't, going out isn't as important to me anymore, but when I do, it's, Im it's important that I feel good, and yeah. I'm actually doing um, the Rocky Horror Show at the moment in Sydney, and we do eight shows a week, and so... So you're dressing quite well, you're playing uh, Janet, so you're going I wear down. all this stuff, I wear all the glitter on my eyelids, and when Is that Janet... the end, or in the beginning? Well, in the beginning, I, I cheat a bit. a very bland yeah. character. Well, then I take off my dress, and I'm covered in glitter from head to toe, so... she glitter? Yeah, of course Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I just, I love it, and um, I don't use anything else. I used to use matte lipstick, and I don't use matte yeah. lipstick anymore. And the nail polish, I just adore. This and is like I, opal, isn't it? Well, this was um, a pink, it's called angelic underneath, and then an opal colour put on top, and just sort of, you know, picks up the light, and it makes it a little bit more glamorous than just a plain pink. So and, Angel's the theme. Angel's the theme. You're looking very angelic, I must say. That's from She Australia, and it really is a mark, and we've even got... Yeah, just one last question. Do you see any new cosmetic ranges coming through for yourself? Any new colours, ideas? Oh, I don't know. I have to talk to Susan about that. I'd love to. I'm just really hoping that she gets into doing, which I'm sure she will, um, doing bases and things, because everything she puts out is such good in quality. So I'm just waiting for the brushes, the base, the whole... You want the full work. I want doing the work. the layering system because from top girls, to bottom. Because girls love having everything matching. And, you know, we've got to get her, you know, yeah. nudge her so we have a whole set. So you've got to start somewhere, I guess, and build your way Oh, up. look, she's done an amazing job. Um, in three years, she's just done extraordinarily well. And, you know, I remember when she first came to me and she just started with a few lipsticks and what she's done with it is just good in love. Really take my hat off to her. Really admire her. Do you see the face? Do you see yourself as the face of she in the future? Well, I tell you, I'm... Would you like to be the face of she in the future? Well, I'd be proud to be. I think it's wonderful. But... Well, you pack it very well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks for coming to Melbourne for today as well. Oh, it's been a joy. My hometown. I yeah. love it here. You should move down. Melbourne's a great place. I'm coming back. You're coming back. Yeah. Well, there you go. You heard it first. <laughs> Little tips and secrets that a makeup artist can share with you, showing you. Well, here we are in store, and we've got a victim here to try Toddy's new lipstick spirit. She's going to wear it with a cocoa lip liner. Sounds sexy. Do you feel sexy? Yeah. Wearing um, spirit, which is Toddy's. Uh, Lipstick. Does that make you feel like Tony? You feel all very glamorous? Oh, We're getting the drag queen effect, but don't delay it, she'll look beautiful. I love Toddy's colour. Hello, I'm Susan from She Australia and we're so lucky to have Trotty in store with us today promoting Angel and her very own lip colour spirit. Thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, it's an Everybody absolute honour. Everybody loves you and loves to see you. And do you remember when we first met? I do remember at Channel 7. Can you believe that? That was going back two years ago. Yeah, in the makeup was. room and mm. you did, it was your first range of lipsticks. I think you had about four of them at the time. Eight we were planning. Yeah, Goddess is part of it. What were the names? Ether, Angel, Ether, right. Diva, Nim, Siren, Mermaid, and the Goddess. That's right. And Toddy came and in star. and star. And star. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and Toddy came in and showed me, she wanted to show me a special colour, which she didn't have. And that's how our relationship started. She came back to Melbourne. She didn't have the colour with her. And she showed me another colour that was really, really special. And ever since then, we've always kept in touch, talking colours. And here she is with us today with her own colour in the She range. Isn't that wonderful? And it's what I'm wearing now, which is Spirit. And it's beautiful. I've actually got the moonlight gloss on top of it. But it's, um, so many people have commented on it since they've been in here. Mm. Actually, people have come over to Toddy and actually asked her what colour you're wearing. And that's really special yeah. too. Yeah, it's great. And also, I think... It's wonderful that we've been able to incorporate aromatherapy into the range because she is a philosophy and it's a style and people feel it. I'm sure you can get an experience of the ambience in the store today and how excited people get about the body art, about the glitter. It's just lovely that you can make people happy and brighten them up through colour and through a little message. And through smell. Mm. Yeah. They just love it. Like our theme, um, come let us show you the wonder that can be. Angelic sparkles and shades of love. 
That's what we have on our brochure and that's the message that we give and we hope people love it. Thank you so much for coming right. today. I just must say one of the other beautiful things about it is um, it's ultimately feminine. It's just the antithesis of, of femininity, which is great because a lot of um, makeups or ranges went through a stage of being quite um, masculine and dramatic, and this is dramatic in the most feminine sense, which I just love. And it, being, uh, being able to be feminine is coming right back in again. Thank you. Coming season. It's Angel. It's from She Cosmetics, and it really is exciting. Before this spring and summer, call over, have fun, express yourself with She. You too can look like an angel. And showing you just how to have fun. Challenges out of your makeup application and showing you just how to have fun. The colour collection is Angel for this summer and it is a dreamy shade for lips, for eyes, for fingertips. Shades like Angel and Illusion, the lipstick colours Spirit, Divine, Angelic, Sacred. Yeah. <laughs> annual Melbourne Fringe Fashion Awards. Steve, you're... Fashionably late, of course. <laughs> and what are we expecting tonight? Lots and lots of uh, fashions and unusual fashions, cutting edge fashions, not unlike the ones on my right. This is a little bit of what you'll be seeing this evening on the catwalk. We're in the corridor at the moment. And what, we ha what, do, we, what do we have here? We have the decadent disc dolly. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm made out of CDs. And I felt I fitted into the character quite easily. Why is that? Um, because I'm a bit decadent myself, and um, yes. Are you ready? And uh, who designed this gorgeous outfit? I designed it myself. It's all me. I'm modelling it too, and I designed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Behind me here we have... Um, my name's Misty, but my design is really nameless. But it doesn't mean it's not good because it's really good. That is fantastic. It blows bubbles. Yeah, I have to shoot that at the judges. Uh -huh. We only bought this today, sprayed it silver. Um, I'm meant to be sort of superhero, but I don't think this is very deadly. You're a bit of a tank girl in the 1990s, aren't you? Yeah, no, just, yeah. Okay, so here we are backstage with one of the designers, Hanya. Now, what inspired you for your outfit tonight? My arachnophobia. I'm just trying to get over it one day and I figured out this is the best way to do it. So is this a bit of a challenge doing this tonight? We're competing against everybody else. What are you sort of expecting from everybody else here? I don't see it as being competition anyway. I just see it as just a whole lot of weird people doing weird things and showing it to everyone and expressing what the hell they're doing. Well, have fun out there tonight. Are you by yourself? Are you doing a whole other creation as well? Or just the outfit you got on tonight? Just this. Just this. Good luck. Here we are with none other than the marshmallow dress, indoor marshmallow dress. It's absolutely amazing and it's real. It's real. This is the thing. How many marshmallows? Five kilos. Five kilos of marshmallows, heavy? Very. Uh -huh. Very. And how many did you eat? Through making yourself. You didn't make it. I've had about probably ten. Ten. See, originally it was a full back and now it's a strap and stronger. You've eaten this much. She got a bit hungry. Is it very really uncomfortable in something uh, like this? Entirely. So this is really not practical. Fashion feels no pain. <laughs> she's also my kidna. Your kidna? Yes, it's just under there. It follows me everywhere. And what's your kidna made out of? 
licorice. That is disgusting, isn't it? It's going to be a Where you going out? So, how's it been? How's it been backstage? You know, I'm all excited. Well, I've been here since 12, 12 lunchtime and it's been bloody mayhem here all afternoon. So, I'm going out to have a cigarette. She's over it. See you later. Well, here we are in another two creations in the hallways on the second level. Now, we've got one outfit here inspired by, well, they look like Danger Girl bags and bubble wrap. What's the uh, theme behind this outfit? Theme, I've actually got a jacket with my dogfish in there. So, you know, you take my pants over and I haven't got the jacket on since it's pretty hot. But, you know, Danger Girl gave me bags and I just love the bags. They can carry water. That's about it. Really. You've got a water bag in front of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now we're all zipped up here and this wonderful creation sitting for the 18th century is all just made of zips. Yeah, and they're actually sleeping bag zippers. Sleeping bag zippers. Yep, and they're all in um, hand cup to size and they all work. Every single one of them all works. And my designer's name is Tracy Fregon and um, YKK gave her all the zippers because they were throwing them out. So she salvaged them. And that's the whole thing tonight, yeah, it's just disposable, reusable items in general. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah for, that, for that particular part of the show. Well, I'll just zip you up and we'll go off to our next one. Oh. And now I'm joined by some my the Goldie coordinator and just about every single thing else that we used to do here backstage to get them out on there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Time calls, making sure costumes are down in the right places, making sure models are all dressed. Um, we've got lots of other lovely people that are organising all sorts of other stuff too to make it work. And Max is also the coordinator. Hey, can you get the different Okay, we've got, first up we've got salvage, yep. that's um, amazing outfits, all made from recycled things, tubes, plastics, polyesters, whatever they can get their hands on, yeah, all sorts. The staircase winds around her to um, further reiterate the ascension idea and on the back you'll find Venus's Botticelli. Fantastic. And how do you feel? <laughs> cold. <laughs> Apart from cold, how do you feel and how were you chosen as the model? Uh, well, I'm a good friend of Yvonne's, mm -hmm. so she had me in mind for the um, design from the start. So, mm -hmm. But it feels great to be part of this night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the fashions tonight are a bit eclectic. Um, do you see this as maybe something that's going to be worn on the streets? Well, <laughs> I don't think so, but I think it's more a little bit of fun. I'm a painter and that's my profession, so I decided to change my canvas into the human form instead of usual and see what I could do in regards to fashion, and so that's more where I've come from. <laughs> Just finished the 
afraid. We're just waiting to hear everyone. Um, I'm hoping that I have it because I want to get this off. It's really hot and sweaty. Totally. Actually, I'd like to get hot and sweaty with the woman that's holding the video camera. <laughs> Fresh Lord at Metro, where else but? Special.